glad you are home safe and I'm so happy to be with you right now. Let's all stay safe, keep our mask on, keep our hands washed, keep our six feet. But for the reading today, just so y'all can understand me and hear me, I'm going to take this off just for the little 20 minutes that we do my reading. And I have to tell you, I am so excited to share some of my very, very favorite books. I like to tell kids books have birthdays just like you guys. This is my second book and it was born January 10th, 2019. So it's just a little bit over a year old. So most of you kids are probably all older than my book and it was a number one new release on Amazon, bestseller, done amazing, so dreams come true makes me very happy because I worked very hard on these. So the cool things that I love about my books, one of my heroes is Albert Einstein. He's a famous scientist and he said, if you look deep into nature, you can understand everything better. And I'm an animal lover. So I traveled to Africa and did a ton of research on animals. And my books are all based on African animals, how they got to their best life. And when I went to Africa, you know what they called it? They called it a secret. Y'all do it with me. Shh. And what's so cool about the scientific nature fact is that we're all made of stardust. It lives above us, around us, and within us all. We all have hearts of stars just waiting to be lit. And I have my new little light up star plush toy to remind you guys, you guys are all born extraordinary of this priceless, timeless treasure just waiting to be lit. And since every one of us are made of this, I like to say we all are born of a divine privilege. We are all born extraordinary. So get your crowns, go run somewhere in the house, get a hat, get anything, make your own. There's stuff on my download. You can make one from a download on my website for free, or you can uh, put on your tiara with me. Everyone put on tiaras and then everyone smile big. That's the smile they use in dream big to light the stardust in their heart and in love big. You know what they do? It's the stardust that surrounds us. And when you share a smile, it can come into both people's heart and light the stardust in their heart. So let me see everyone share smiles and everyone clap. We can, we believe. And then for the read aloud, what I love to do is when we light our stardust in our heart, it gives us kind of that extra courage and strength we need to become the heroes of our story, to be get to our best life. So everyone go get a t-shirt. You can wrap it with the arms, any kind of anything to make a cape. I have my cape for school visits, has a coat of arm on it. You'll watch for hair in the story. She has a coat of arm on her cape. So everyone, boys, girls, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, everyone put on your cape. And what we're all going to do together for the read aloud is the whoosh wham. So everyone go whoosh wham. Feel that stardust light in your heart. But guys, you know, real life is never just easy. I've had a tough life. And in Dream Big, the baboon's really moody. And he's kind of moody in Love Big. But he's there kind of always in everybody's kind of busy body. So everybody baboon sneer with me. We're all going to hold up baboon eyes and everybody go. Hoo, 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 hoo. They can be really grumpy, moody, or happy and helpful. So everyone keep the grumpy baboon. Okay. So now it's time to read the book. Okay. I got to put on my glasses. Here we go. In the wilds of East Africa, hundreds of years had passed since the savannas began. The land was dry and desolate. The animals were so hungry and mean that they stopped believing in their dream until this moody baboon discovered a powerful secret. Y'all do it with me. It all began one afternoon when rude rhino was desperately racing to eat a green patch of grass snorting. Move, you stinky beetle. I'm starving, but bam, whack. Rhino smacked his rub with a bump to avoid the pile of poop. Smashed the termite castle and snorted. Ow, you live in poop, you stinky beetle. You did this. 
baboon watched and couldn't help but sneer. Everybody hold that baboon eyes, y'all ready? <gasps> you bully, don't blame Beetle, you tripped. So, everyone give me a sassy so. So, whined Rhino, rubbing his rump in pain. It's still that stinky Beetle's fault. Beetle took a thoughtful breath. Everyone take a thoughtful breath with me. As he decided to roll a cure-all mud ball. Mud for African animals can heal anything. So he rode on, rolled him a cure-all mud ball, stud, stuttering nervously. If if you put this on your rump, it, it helps with the pain. Plus, I, I think you're really cool, rhinoceros. Surprised by a beetle's kindness, Rhino tried the cure-all ball and it worked. So with his horn beginning to grow, Rhino gave Beetle a bump saying, thanks dude, that was really cool of you. And you know what they did? They shared Big Smile, everyone smile with someone, smile with me, everyone clap. We can, we believe. Okay, it's my favorite part. Ready, one, two, three, whoosh. Wham, the stardust that surrounded them came in and guess what? Yes, it lit the stardust in their heart and Rhino fixed the crash castle, helped Baboon hollow his drum and gave Beetle his yummy new snack on a stick saying, dude, thanks to you, I know to make a point to be kind. Anytime my whiny bully power pound hangs out, the rock and horn I just Grew proves real coolness happens if you do. And you know what's really cool about a rhino, since I've got your attention? When they're born, they have no horn. But you know what they do have? They really whine and are really rude. Mm, everyone give me your power pout. Mm. But it's not a bottom lip power pout, it's a top lip. So do it with your top lip. Mm. And it's called a prehensile lip. They have a prehensile lip. But as they mature, they really have cool, kind moments. So they grow a horn to remember every day to make a point to be kind. So you can even make your own rhino horn party hats at home. Woohoo! And remember, every day to make a point to be kind because kind is cool so let's keep going here we go the next after ne next afternoon baboon set pounding his drum everyone pound your drum when he heard mad mama hair school you need to share your snack in trouble little hair mumbled fine i'll go find my own food she left and her mom cried out, please stay sweet little hare, it's gonna get cold, the clouds are filling the sky. But little hare kept walking, freezing and starving, she passed baboon who couldn't help but sneer. Everybody baboon sneer, you ready? <laughs> your mom warned you. Everyone give me your sassy so. So, snapped little hare stubbornly, hiding her face, shivering cold, alone and afraid. Rhino took a thoughtful breath. Everyone take a thoughtful breath. As he gave little hair his flattened mud ball and said, get warm with this make do mud cape. And dude, try my new snack from a stick. It's delicious. Wow, cool cape. I mean, warm cape. Little hair laughed at her joke, ha, with her very first hair hop. And she looked at Rhino in the, the eye and said, thanks, Beetle's right, you really are cool. And you know what they did? They shared big smiles. Everyone share a smile with me and everybody clap. We can, we believe. Okay, my favorite part, superheroes, y'all ready? One, two, three, whoosh, wham, we can share. And guess what? That stardust came in and lit the stardust in their heart and yes, Hare went home to share her snack on a stick with her siblings and little hare had so much fun you know what she learned to hop pop zip and skip and she put up happy hoppy ears as they all sang hop pop hip bump share and love big it's a dream tastic way to live and you know what's cool about an african hare when they're first born really all they can do is walk and their ears lay flat on their back but when they learn to share, they get happy ears. Everyone put up happy, happy ears. And they learn to hop, pop, zip, and skip. And that's how they stay safe and survive. So sharing is so much fun. Okay, here we go. So the next afternoon, Baboon quietly asked Little Hare, 
what do I need to do to make my dream come true? Suddenly, the ground shook under their bums. Baboon saw why. Two lions were racing and roaring. Stop that lion! He stole our snack. Running scared lion crashed into baby little hair and went bam. Baboon sneered. Everybody baboon sneer with me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hurry lion, get up. They're coming after you. So, everyone give me your sassy so. So, Lion cried, terrified, scrambling to his feet, starving. They didn't listen when I asked, so I stole their snack. Little Hare took a thoughtful breath. Everyone, take a breath. <sighs> she looked Lion in the eye and said, I understand, but I just learned it's happier to share. Maybe try that. Lion, with his mane beginning to grow, forgot he was in danger. He was too busy smiling at little hair saying, no one has ever listened to me before or helped me see what I need to roar. The lioness is attacked. Whack, smack, boom, kapow, ow, woo. What's gonna happen? Stop! Baboon howled swinging from the baobab tree in his first good mood. I know what to do. There's a powerful secret. Y'all do it with me that we can all use. Baboon thoughtfully placed a crown on Lion's head and said, break free, go after your dream and know we are with you. Lion broke free and he and Baboon shared smiles, share smiles with them and everybody clap. We can, we believe. Okay, heroes, y'all ready? One, two, three, whoosh. Wham, we can listen and guess what? That stardust came in and lit this stardust in their heart. And yes, Lion gave back their stolen snack, apologizing as his brilliant new mane blew in the breeze. And he declared, we must share. And then as they all ate, Lion listened, helping the lionesses with their problem. And you know what? They were so grateful. They crowned him the very first king of the beast. To celebrate, Baboon passed out his pom-poms and drum as Lion roared loud and proud. Roar in his new crown. Take pride. Take time to hear with both ears so you too can be a leader. And you know what? How many ears does a lion have? Two. How many mouths? One. So he learned to listen more than he speaks. Learns to listen to who he is and who his friends and family are. And you know what? He gets crown king. He gets to be a leader. Learn to listen to be your leader. But you know what? Lion stopped the party. Why did he stop? Because little hair squeaked. P.U. Everyone hold your nose. P.U. What stinks? It's m me stuttered Beetle nervously, embarrassed by the dung ball. He was rolling to Lion. M -m my home is stinky poop. Help me, please. What do I do, 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 do? Everyone laughed. Hey, oh, you! They thought Beetle had made a doo doo joke. But Beetle's feelings were so hurt that he quickly hid. So Baboon, I mean, so Lion got with Baboon and they wrote him a song. It's on my website. Y'all can sing it alongside the Austin Children's Choir or you can just say it along with me right now. But here it is. Twinkle, twinkle, share a smile. Lights up stardust all the while. Dance we can and dare believe. Living big, we all succeed. Twinkle, twinkle, hearts of stars guiding us. We will go far. After the song, Lion looked Beetle in the eye and declared with his royal roar, since you first dared to care, we've learned to love big, working together to achieve our dreams. And you know what? Beetle's smile was huge as they all shared in his smile. Everyone smiled with Beetle and everyone clapped. We can! We believe! Okay, it's our last one, heroes. Let's make it good. I can see you. Y'all ready? One, two, three, whoosh! Wham! The stardust surrounded all of them came in and guess what? Yes! It lit all their hearts and guess what? Yes! You're our hero! They said to Beetle. Everyone cheered. Look! Your poop balls spread everywhere. Turn the savanna green so now we can eat. And I'm telling you guys, when I went to Africa, 
They call the dung beetle a hero. Who would ever think something that was born in poop with a doo-doo dilemma would be a hero? But because he turns these little balls, it turns all, it's like a fertilizer. It's just like the greatest thing ever. Everybody loves it and it turns the grass green so no one gets hungry. So everyone has a point in this world. So they all cheered and Beetle flip-flop. They always flip-flop on their poop. They're really fun to watch. So he flip-flopped on top of his dung ball dancing. Yes, if someone as miserable as me with the help of a wee can solve, can transform my doo-doo dilemma, you can too. So here's the secret. Y'all do it with me. Shh. Love big, share smiles, and together believe in each other and each other's dreams. And with that, they all got together and finished Baboon's party. Everyone put up happy hoppy ears. Everyone shake pom-poms, pound your drums, and sing his celebration song. Wahoo! Shake your pom-poms, share big smiles. Light your heart of stars, kids. You guys will all go miles. You're born extraordinary. And on my website, guys, and at the back of the book, there's all kinds of activities. You can make your own crown with lion. You can make a coat of arms to celebrate who you are or your family or your neighborhood and put it on your cape. I put a termite trick on mine. We can, we can. This is another termite trick. You can make up your own termite tricks to encourage friends and family. They're throughout my book like a seek and find and the answers are in the back. So go solve your own termite tricks. Come up with your own. You can make your own stars. Celebrate the stars and remember that you're born extraordinary or all kinds of more fun stuff. Baboon, they can be really moody like we talked about or really happy and thoughtful. But they make boot drums to keep their moods in check. You can make yours. My grandbabies just made this one out of an orange juice can. You can't have a bad day playing your drum or baby baboon. There's rainbow moods on my website. So you can name your moods through the rainbow, but she also makes a pom-pom. Can't have a bad day with a pom-pom. Wahoo! And at night she puts it over her bed like a dream catcher. So the good dreams come through and the bad dreams get stuck on the fluff. I made one out of a stick. This one the girls made out of an old light up bracelet, a crayon. You can make stuff out of anything. Find whatever you have in your house or you can make a rhino horn party hat. All you do is take a piece of paper from the mail anywhere, put it on and remember to make a point to be kind every day. Kind is cool. You can even make an appointed container and fill it with your family or your friends. Best kindness act for the day. We always put ours in a little box at home. So guys, have fun. And then you can even, there's animal fact sheets because we love our animals. So you can go learn about each animal on my website, all kinds of different other downloads. Or then on the learn section, there's curriculum. There's write your own stories. You can write one like I did called a mythological fable. You can pick your favorite animal, just like a rhino or whichever one it was. Like I studied a rhino. They don't have a horn. Ooh, and they have a prehensile lip. So how did that, all that come together? Why does a dog bark? You can write a story like that. So write your own stories. It's so much fun. Or you can write your own memoir backwards. Because Walt Disney says if you can imagine your dream and believe in your dream, guess what? You can achieve it. So write your memoir backwards. I'm 53. I wrote mine at 62, winning an Oscar for the movie made out of my stories. Pretty fun. Can't wait to see y'all there. So guys, have dreams, share your dreams. And then my third book, this is my first book, Dream Big. You can find all this on my website. You can get them at any major bookstore, Amazon. But this book, it hadn't even been born yet. And y'all get to see the little arc. It's an advanced reader's copy, so y'all should feel really lucky. It's gonna be born May 12th. And this one, guys, they have to use the stardust within them to light the stardust in their heart. And life gets a little more complicated in this story. It's kind of like us with coronavirus having to solve problems. So they have to work together, like and share big, but then they also have to use their thoughts and minds and all bring it all together. So it's a really fun story. Thank you guys. Have fun with books. Write your own stories. Dream big love big and thank big love boys and girls club love you guys have a great day